Hi, I'm Tanner with Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a really cool trailer. So this is a custom order trailer that a customer custom ordered um, from us through Cimarron. Really cool setup. We don't get the availability to do these really big, nice kind of optioned out bumper pulls a lot. So when we do, it's really cool to be able to show you guys kind of the extent that we can go, especially like on a trailer that's supposed to be a small bumper pull, supposed to be pulled behind a little truck, but we go went ahead and we loaded this guy out. It's got plenty of options. Um, so we'll start here at our front tack room. Size wise, again, it's gonna be pretty similar to your standard tack room, but we set it up a little bit different. This is an extra tall trailer, so this is a 7.7 seven tall trailer, so it allows us to do a little more as far as saddle racks room in this um, tack area. So your first saddle rack, it will be this swing out adjustable post right here. I'm gonna swing it in so I can show you guys. We do have a six pole blanket tree mounted to our door. Now typically, on a normal, you know, 7-1 tall trailer, this is only going to be a four-tier blanket bar just because we don't have that door height to make it happen. So by going extra tall, it allows us to put this six-pole blanket tree on this door. You will have your three-compartment drainable brush tray down low below that. Again, fold up step to kind of make that step a little easier into this big bumper pull. Then I will swing this out and show you guys the saddle rack one more time. So again, runs on a gas piston. Once you get your big heavy saddles on there, you kind of start pulling it and those pistons are going to do the majority of the work for you. These are fully adjustable. You can add more. You can take some off if you don't need all of them on here. You just loosen off your two little nuts. They will slide in a track and you can take them out the top if you do want to take them out of this trailer. Inside our tack room of this trailer. In this dead corner behind me. Here, I'm going to actually swing this out for you guys, give you guys a little better view. In this dead view corner behind me, we do have a recessed post that's stuck in the floor and the ceiling. Now keep this in mind as we talk about this. Again, this is kind of the same setup as that swing out. It is going to be fully adjustable. You can adjust these however you like. You can situate them however you like or take them out or put more in if you would like. But keep this in mind because there is one more location that we can actually take this guy out and move it to in this trailer and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. Um, it's a really cool setup. So she can kind of pick, does she want more saddles up front or does she want more storage in the back? Um, she can really set this up to how she's going to use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Behind me, we do have two spare wheels and tires to this trailer. They are matching wheels, matching tires. Typically, you're going to get one spare when you order a trailer from Cimarron, but you can request another if you'd like. So they're both hard mounted over here to the wall. They're not going to be bouncing around. Um, we really utilize this front tack space to kind of pretty much store everything, and it's real nice and neat and tucked away. Behind me, do we, have a, we do have a 48-gallon half-moon water tank. Again, she's going to be able to take water with her wherever she goes. She's not going to have to worry about trying to find water while she's traveling. Some horses are pretty picky about water they'll drink. I know when I haul my horses, they you can use them all day long at a rodeo show. Um, you'll get none. They'll be sweated out, tired, and they still won't drink you know, fairground water. They'll wait till we get home. So by being able to take your home water with you, it gives them the ability to maybe hydrate a little better than they normally would. Behind me up here on our Vinos, we do have an air ride compressor system for this trailer. So this is an air ride trailer. It's on two 7,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles. So when you equip an air ride trailer, you don't have to do anything to your truck at all. It's gonna come fully integrated onto the trailer to run how it should. Your compressor is built into this box. It's really simple. You're gonna have an on off switch. The on off switch is gonna turn that compressor on and off. And then you're gonna have a main switch that'll raise and lower those airbags as well. So once you're ready to travel down the road, you'll turn it on to raise and it'll do everything for you. It'll keep those bags maintained and let air in and out as you, know, you need that cushion while you're traveling. We do also equip them with a drain valve down low. So again, when you're draining the air out of there, you can get the moisture out of those lines so it doesn't freeze in those winter months. Up high, we do have our breaker system for this trailer. So again, I believe your hydraulic jack on here. And then again, your air ride system are gonna run off these breakers. And by doing that, it gives us the option to run some 120 volts here in her front stall. And she also will have some in her, uh, or I apologize, some 120s here in her front tack. And then we also have some 120 power back in her stall. So she has the ability to plug in some stuff, grooming tools, whatever she needs while she's traveling. So you have the option to do that kind of around this trailer. So we work our way down this partition wall between, you know, this front tack and the stall area. We do have a set of bridle hooks high on each side of the door and a set of bridle hooks low. Again, fully carpeted behind these bridle hooks to keep those bridles from scratching up your trailer. It's also going to really help deaden that noise between this tack room and your horses. If your bridles are banging around, some horses get pretty antsy and it's really going to help deaden that noise and make your horses travel a lot better. And of course, between those, we do have our pass-through door into our stall area. So again, if she's only hauling a couple and maybe utilizing this front stall as a storage area, this gives her the option to move freely between here, check on horses if she needs to, pull grain and stuff, and then again, 
If she wants to haul all of them, you're not really gonna have the option to do that door while you're traveling. But again, she has that option if she's not hauling all of them. She can do, use this as storage, kind of use it for whatever she would like on this trailer. So we tried to set this up to kind of hit home with a bunch of points with this customer as far as not what she's doing the majority of the time, but whatever she will do any of the time she has the ability to do in this trailer. So move down the side, it is a charcoal metallic color. It's a really flashy color on this trailer. We also do have our hay rack that is skinned in that same charcoal metallic, so it looks really nice and neat. Up high, we do have our two 16 inch LED light bars, again, giving her enough light out here while she's saddling on this trailer. She'll also have those same lights on the other side if she wants to saddle off. Another option we did is typically on a horse trailer that you were gonna order from us. Um, our standard inventory options, a lot of the times are gonna come with sliding type windows on one side and drops on the other. The way we situated this trailer, you're gonna have drops with jail bars on both sides because it's a really unique setup inside and I'll walk you guys through it when we get inside, but this is a walk-on, walk-off trailer. So she has the ability to load her horses, you know, in a typical slant facing forward, or she can load them in a reverse slant, slant facing, you know, towards the hip side. So we have the ability to put those jail bars on each side. That way, no matter which way she has her horses faced while she's loading, they can't stick their heads out these windows and she's still getting all the maximized airflow from these drop downs. Down low, Again, these are those matching wheels and tires to those spares I showed you guys up front. These are two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, load range G tires. Um, they're big continental heavy duty tires. Um, that mixed with the air ride, this is gonna be a great pulling trailer. I know our driver that dropped it off a couple days ago on our lot said that this thing pulled like a dream, um, which is surprising for how big a trailer it is. But Cimarron really prides themselves on balance, how they set up their axles and tires. They build a really great pulling trailer. Working our way to the load side of this trailer. Again, it does have that full rear ramp for her walk off back here. We do have our 60-40 rear doors. We have two eight inch light bars up top again to give her enough light while she's loading and unloading. But it's pretty unique inside here as far as what she wanted to do with this concept. So you'll notice this back kind of stall portion behind this last divider. It's not really big enough to put a horse. The reason she wanted to add a little length and do this is because she's gonna use this as her main storage area when she's hauling horses. So again, she can throw grain, totes, hay, and start stacking it up in this rear stall. And then I showed you guys that removable saddle post up front. So in this scenario, she wants to you know, get a little more room in her front stall. We do have a recessed post in the floor and ceiling, so she can move that removable saddle rack to this back area if she would like. And again, give herself some more room in that front tack, still be able to store some stuff back here. So it gives her options to do whatever she would like to do. Granted, it's not really big enough to fit a horse in this back stall. If you had a pony maybe that you wanted to use as like a companion horse while you're traveling, you could fit one back here. But again, this is more of a storage area for this customer. So in this rear stall, the latch system is a little different because they have to swing from both ways. Um, we went ahead and did a build out. So we dropped the build out on this divider a little lower so it will clear this back door. And by doing that, again, if she wants to load horses the opposite way that it's designed to, she can load them facing backwards or facing forward. So she could walk horses on like this. Then when she goes to offload, she can walk them off the front. I just wanted to show you guys how this back divider operates. I'll show you guys a little more as we walk around. I want to kind of show as we walk through how they're supposed to be reverse loaded. But again, tons of options on this trailer. You will notice down low, she opted to get the upgraded worm floor. So again, this is an impenetrable, impenetrable floor. It's textured, it's grippy, and it gives your horses some cushion. But again, the main benefit of this is you're never gonna have to pull rubber match, which again, can get pretty hard, especially in a trailer where we have all these built-ins in the floor and stuff like that, as far as figuring out where your mats are gonna go. So by doing this worm floor, she's never gonna have to pull mats. She's never gonna have to worry about urine getting to that aluminum floor underneath and you know eroding away at it. It's a really great product and it goes really well with this trailer setup. So we work our way down the head side of this trailer. Again, we have our full drops down this head side, our LED awning lights up top to again, give her enough light to be able to see if she's saddling off this side of the trailer. You will notice down low, each side of this trailer does have these amber lights. Those are your turn signals. So again, a little bit of a longer trailer, you're gonna to wanna to be able to turn those lights on and have people next to you be able to see that you are trying to get over in your lane. So we throw these amber turn signals on as an option that you can put on these trailers to again, give those people next to you a little heads up that you're trying to get over. Again, same big drop downs on this side of the trailer, really maximizing that airflow. There are jail bar drops downs in the case you do wanna you know, straight slant load these trailers. 
side ramp right here. So the way she envisioned this trailer is I think 90% of the time she is probably gonna be reverse loading off this side ramp. So the way that'll work is she would have all her dividers swung over. Just kind of like your typical slant load would, just in reverse fashion. So again, she would load horses starting with her front, so all these would be swung open. She'd load her first horse, close that divider, load her second, close that divider. And when she goes to offload, she would just hinge them from the opposite side and start offloading from the front, and they can just walk straight off this trailer. She doesn't have to back them out and try to get them through that smaller ramp door right there. The other cool thing we did in this trailer, it's really got three load type options. It's got this reverse slant that we're showing you right now. It's got the normal slant if you want to load them off the opposite way. But she also optioned that she can set this trailer up with box stalls. So this front divider that we have right here, it is fully removable. There is a place for it to mount up against this wall. So in the scenario, she wanted to have just kind of two open box stalls. She'd pull all her pins, move this divider over to the wall. This would become a box stall. And then she would take her rearmost divider out, that one I showed you guarding that tack room back there. And then the second divider would swing all the way open, serving that back of the trailer. So she'd really have two big box stalls. So she can really do a lot of stuff with this trailer. She has three load options. It's a really unique setup and it actually functions really, really well. So again, we'll come out the rear of this trailer as we were unloading horses. Oh, I forgot to do that latch. Anywho. I'll move that out of the way. You'd keep offloading your horses towards the rear. And then again, she could reverse slant or she could pull her front pins. Like so. And instead of backing her horses off this trailer, she could swing this divider over and start offloading her horses from the front way. Just that way that if you have a horse that's kind of hard to hit that back small door the back there by the camera, you can offload them forward if needed. So again, super cool setup. We have LED lights here on our typical hip side of this reverse slant. Um, again, giving her enough light to be able to see what she, her horses are doing if she's pulling over on the side of the road and checking on her horses, feeding her horses, she's gonna have enough light to do so. We also went ahead and typically, you know, you're gonna have one set of hay bag rings on kind of whichever head side is gonna be typical. But again, she's wanting to kind of switch things up and be able to haul them reverse slant, slant. So we do have hay bag rings on both sides. So no matter how she wants to set her horses up in this trailer, she can move her hay bags to whichever side she prefers. Up top, we do have our two-way roof vents. Again, you can set those up either way to pull air into this trailer, pull air out really kind of maximize that airflow for whatever you're needing that day. And then again, no matter what Cimarron you order, whether it be a bumper pole like this, a stock trailer, typical four horse living quarters, it is gonna come with that full panel insulated roof. Your tack room is gonna have an insulated roof. If you go with the North Star model, your horse area is gonna be fully insulated as well. So it's gonna be about 20% cooler in here on those summer days, and about 20% warmer on those winter days as far as you know your temperature wise in this trailer. Some really cool things, we can do some really cool things as long as you guys have a concept. Cimarron's really great about working through it with us, working through it with you guys. Um, kind of picking a design that's gonna work for what you wanna do and also work well. Up here, we talked a little bit about that 120 package up front and how we have uh, outlet power up front. We also have one tapped through our partition wall right here. So again, if she wants to plug a fan in, if she wants to plug show supplies in, trimmers, anything like that, she can plug those in right there and have that power to the stall area of the trailer. So we kind of tried to set her up to be able to use this trailer in a multitude of ways. There's pretty much not an option, I think, lacking on this trailer. As we move to the front of this trailer, again, it'll give you a really good view of that charcoal metallic color. I want to point out that on this big um, ramp door right here, we also do have a smaller drop window. So once you get your horses loaded, you can drop that window and really maximize that airflow for your last horse or your first horse in this trailer. Um, again, airflow is a big thing, especially when you're stuck in traffic, construction, you're in stop and go and it's hot and you're not really getting that air moving. The more open you can have these trailers, the better. Up here at the front, we do have our adjustable two and five sixteenths coupler, our safety chains, breakaway cable, and then we are optioned with an electric over hydraulic jack. Again, this is a bigger trailer. This is a great option. We can do these through our shop. If you guys have a trailer at home um, that you're thinking you maybe want to easily crank up and down and not hand crank anymore, it's very simple, it's the push of a button. It'll go up and down. You can hook a trailer up in two minutes with this thing versus hand cranking 
especially a big trailer like this. Our battery power for this trailer, again, we do have a battery mounted to our gooseneck coupler deck right here. That is gonna power you know, your air ride while you're traveling. It's gonna power your interior lights, your exterior lights. And again, you don't have to be able to, you don't have to be hooked to your truck to be able to run this. The cool thing about it that we do is anything we throw a battery on, we are gonna put a disconnect switch on for you guys. That serves the purpose of if you're unhooking this trailer, you're done using it for a few days, whatever it may be. You don't have to worry about if you left a light on somewhere, um, you flick that switch and it's gonna kill all the power to the trailer. That way, if you do have a light left on and you leave this trailer for a week or so with the light left on, typically your batteries will be drained. Um, if you flick that switch to red when you get where you're going, unhooking, that way you go to hook back up, your batteries aren't dead. You just click that sucker back to green and then that also allows you to charge this battery while you're traveling. So anytime you're hooked up using them and you do have a switch like this, just always have that on. It'll keep your batteries charged up. Um, and then again, when you're done using it, turn it to red and then you're, you don't really have to worry about your batteries dying. We also, the last thing I'm gonna point out before we kind of go over some minor details on this trailer, we do have a 30 amp package to this trailer. Again, she can hook that up in there. We can charge batteries off that. Those outlets, if she wants to you know, power those outlets up, she can plug into a little generator, she can plug into a house outlet with a little adapter. This just gives her the ability to power up some of that stuff on this trailer with a plug. She doesn't have to be hooked to the truck to use that at all. So again, we have plenty of options on this trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, you like some of the features we did on this trailer, you maybe want to learn more or build your own. The stock number for this unit is 5N221890. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star four horse bumper pull. It's extra tall, extra wide. It's really got those three load types. She can reverse slant, she can slant, she can set up box stalls, and it's all in this convenient little bumper pull package. So we can do some cool things here at Transwex, especially when we partner with a great company like Cimarron. If you're interested in building your own trailer, maybe you just want to talk over some options on this trailer that you maybe want to put on your trailer, or if you just want to see what else we have on the lot, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.